am in the White Mountains. I am hiking Mount Flume, which is a 4,000 footer. The reason I am choosing this one is because Callie hasn't done it yet. And Callie has done 45 out of the 48 4,000 footers. So she's almost there, just a few left. And so we're working on that. This is officially my first winter hike of the season. I haven't hiked much in the last month or so because of work. So I'm really happy to be out here. Um, there's going to be a gorgeous view. There's not many clouds in the sky, so I'm excited about that summit. And it's been a month or two since I've done a 4,000 footer, so this is going to be fun. This trail starts on the Lincoln Woods Trail, which is very flat and very long. And I will be on this for 1.4 miles. And it goes alongside the Pemi River. One point four miles later, I'm ready to turn on to the Osseo Trail and we should start getting some elevation. So I just stopped for a quick break. I think I want to put my spikes on to have a little more traction going up the hill. I also have my water with my noon so I could stay hydrated. Um, this hike is really good for me because I have a couple pieces of gear I wanted to test out. I have my new Z-Pax Arc Air backpack that I want to take on the AT, and I also have new winter hiking boots that I haven't worn yet. So I wanted to take those out on trail and see how they are. Yeah, that's just a little quick update. I just got her zoomies out. Didn't you? You like being off leash in the snow. About four and a half miles into the day and this is the first view. And that's most likely the bonds. I don't know which one is which in particular, but that's a pretty view. This was the part I was the most nervous about. There's like stairs going up the side because it gets really steep, but they're not completely covered. And I think I can still use them as stairs and get that get up them pretty easily. So that's a good thing. Are you hiding?
I'm getting pretty close to the top of Mount Flume. I put some layers on. It's a little windy and colder and snowier up here. Like my rain jacket will help keep me warm. I just put hand warmers on and this buff for my face. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a long time hiking. windy up here but I am at the summit of Mount Flume which is incredible there is an undercast which I did not expect at all but those are always so pretty Franconia Ridge is in the distance over there um, yeah, this is really awesome so congratulations to Callie on a 4,000 footer 46 out of 48. I'm going to continue this later because I don't know if you can hear me or not. So I'm going to get back on the trail. This undercast is so crazy that there are 4,000 footers under that cloud and you can't even see them. So Cannon and the Kinsmans are over there. And I'm making my way down off Mount Flume. Alright, I'm headed down the trail now. That summit was absolutely gorgeous. I never imagined that undercast happening or having such a bright beautiful blue sky day up there so that was really cool and also the only other two people at the summit I actually follow on Instagram so I've talked to them before and it was really nice sharing the summit with them and just taking in the beauty so that was really cool and it was nice having other people up there because we were able to get photos of each other and they came out awesome so I'm gonna head down I think I have already hiked 5.7 miles and since it's an out and back it's probably going to be an 11 mile day back to the car. I'm not going to film much just because I want to get back at a reasonable time and Callie's a little cold so hopefully next time you see me I am at the parking lot and on my way home and I'll recap the trail later. So see ya! Alright I'm back in my car ready to go home. That hike was perfect. So it ended up being 11.23 miles and took me exactly six hours. So that was really nice. The weather was good. I'm excited Callie got 4,000 footer number 46. So she really only has one more hike left because we need Adams and Madison for her 48 list. So I quickly just want to go over two mistakes that I think I made on this hike 
because it's always good to learn from your mistakes. The first one is I forgot to pack snow gaiters because I think I was too focused on my brand new winter hiking boots that I completely forgot to grab my gaiters. Some snow ended up getting in my boots when I would like step off of trail for a second to let someone pass or go to the bathroom. So I wish I brought snow gaiters and two, I wish I groomed Callie's paws before I left because she has a lot of fur in between her pads. So the ice would stick to that a little bit and it kind of bugged her. So those two things. And also I put one of my spikes on backwards. So that was kind of funny. I will pay attention to that. Didn't make a huge difference. I didn't notice until the end, but yeah. So that's that hike. I'm really excited to look at all this footage and look at the pictures back because it was absolutely gorgeous at the summit. I'm gonna go to McDonald's, get some chicken nuggets and go home. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.